Okay, time for my fake baby on three dudes in a dock. Wow. When? This is like Indeed. 750th episode or something. Yeah. Close it, enough. Yeah, it's, sure. it's got to be getting there. It's way up there. 666th because it's Every fake episode. babies. It's at least 40, I think. Sure. I think, yeah, I think so. Why not? I was counting. We were in uh, remote, like we were in quarantine episodes for like 13 weeks. Really? Yeah. Really? There's 13 episodes that are in quarantine. Maybe 12. 13 terrible quality episodes. <laughs> <laughs> the Q chapter. Let's just move on. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't happen. Okay, that didn't happen. Everyone's everyone's doing it, though. Yeah. Have well, you guys watched anything new? Uh, before yeah. we get into yeah. it? Yeah. What'd you watch? I watched the Roger Stone documentary. I think Sick. you mentioned. Oh, yeah. Dude. Get me Roger Stone. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. dude is a sociopath. Dude, he up. Yeah. like might go to jail, but I don't think he's going to because I just oh, read really? something on uh, on his Instagram today. Yeah, Bill Barr, oh, uh, wow. the attorney general, has dude. treated him very favor- favorably. Yeah. Interesting. Dude, That's he is shady. such a dude. Yeah. But and see, like the crazy part is like. He's not even like a, a conservative's conservative. No. He's just a guy yeah. who likes to watch the world burn. Yeah. Like he's he's for gay marriage, he's for yeah. pro choice. Yeah. But he's like super conservative. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. Like he's a libertarian, he says. He's like religious. He, he has supportive. so much money yeah. and like it's great. Like, and also Christian and I were talking about this. Like it's so funny. That he is still like, no, Nixon's a great guy. Yeah. Uh, I love Richard Nixon. Yeah. And he's got the tattoo, like, yeah. on his upper back. Right between his shoulder blades. Yeah. It's a big oh, one, fun. too. His yeah. picture on Instagram was um, a big in big, bold letters. I think it said he quit. And then it's him doing the Nixon peace symbol. Yeah. So, like, yeah, he's just so into Nixon. And, yeah, he's a wild guy, man. It, he's a weird dude. Yeah. 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 He's, he's quite the spectacle. Dude. Like, if, for yeah. something like that to exist in the world for us to get to look at, man, yeah. it's like we're in a zoo. This is crazy. Yeah. Like, he just, again, I, I don't think he stands for anything no. other than just <laughs> chaos. Yeah, yeah. Like, he was totally the kid in the park where you're like, hey, Roger, check out this cool sandcastle I made. And then he just bulldozes it yeah. over. Like, why did you do that? And, like, I don't know, because I could. Yeah, yeah like, oh, exactly. Okay. He, yeah. He, yeah, he's he's the guy that just... Oh, man. He's, yeah. He's uh, Chris Nolan's Joker. He just wants to watch the world burn. He just... He like, enjoys being contrary, and he yeah. feeds yeah. off of hate. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, even, like, even his language isn't, uh, like, very Republican. Like, no. I feel like Republicans try and be, like, super... Like, yeah. Not, not Like, polite. they're always on camera. Not polite, because... Donald Trump is not polite, but no. like, like the actual like, I don't, th- I don't think Donald Trump's really a Republican. I think he's just. Well, yeah, that was that whole thing where he stated where like if I ever wanted to run for yeah. politics, I would just manipulate these guys because yeah. they're idiots. Yeah. So, but like, you know, you look at George Bush and like they try and be like the the Christian family man, yeah. like. Type, yeah, type uh, when they speak. The yeah. low speakers. Yeah, but that's. Not I forget Roger what Stone. president <laughs> it was, but there was a president that. Got the evangel. I always fuck that word up. Evangelicals. But like, yeah, like really got them, and that's when the I think Republicans. Reagan, I think. I think you might be right. Yeah, that's when the Republicans got linked with yeah. um, like super religious yeah. groups. Yeah, but, no, that. But yeah, Roger Stone's nuts, man. Oh. Yeah, he. And yeah, just so like just every like he says nothing bad about Nixon. Like, oh, he no. was a great man. A good one to watch after that would be The Family. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I may have That'd to start that. Yeah. So I watched uh, the uh, Donald Trump one as well, Donald Trump, The American Dream. Cool. Really? It's like okay. a mini series, so it's like five episodes. Okay. Basically, just goes over how awesome of a guy he is. Uh, no, no, <laughs> quite con- contrary. Yeah. Um. So this isn't like a pun un- unbiased piece. No, I, I mean, I don't they think like it facts? talks to his friends. It talks to people that Those exist. Yeah. People are they that people that are like, uh, uh, like the guy in um, uh, Four Little Girls? Yeah. <laughs> no, there was a, uh, uh, a woman that they talked to quite often, and um, she was like, yeah, like I, I was great friends with Ivanka, or not Ivanka, that's his daughter, Ivana, yeah. his first wife. That's the same person, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wishes. <laughs> uh, his first wife and uh, and him, and she was at their wedding, and like, Donald, uh, not Donald, I can't even say, Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton were at his 
mm-hmm. uh, last wedding. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He, it's it's crazy. Man, there he like there's a thing where he um just as he was running or just before he was running, he did a huge donation and then he got an invite uh, to a Clinton party yeah. and was just saying how ridiculous it was because if anyone like, "Oh, don't give it to this guy." Yeah. But he's like, "All you have to do is give money and then they'll be like, "Here, come on to this party." Yeah. So he's like, it's all fucking so bullshit. Roger Stone's um, uh, showing a little bit in that, too. Yeah. Um, basically, it's uh, like the one guy that they talk about in the Roger Stone documentary. Uh, he was a lawyer, and he, and he just looks evil. Well, uh, yeah, he's a lawyer. No, I forget <laughs> his name, though. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah, uh, I forget his name. But it's just the guy, he's in the Donald Trump documentary and the... Uh, um, Roger Stone one because mm-hmm. uh, they were all friends. Yeah, but yeah, he just looks evil, and people say like he's probably the most evil person I've ever I've ever met. Fuck man, I forget his name though. But Jesus, yeah. So that was that was interesting, and it kind of ends just before um, he becomes president. Oh okay, yeah, cool. So I think it cool. came out in 2017 as well. Okay, uh, so yeah, because the Roger Stone doc came out then too, right? Because yeah. it was like just yeah. as he was getting elected. Because he got kicked out or whatever. He got kicked off his campaign yeah. uh, crew. Got and then got brought back behind the scenes. What the fuck? As kind of like a puppet master. Yeah. But yeah, mm. like Roger Stone's it's hands. All PR. Yeah, his hands are all over yeah. that campaign. Oh, like, dude. Also, if he does go to jail, how long do you think until he's running that prison? Yeah. Oh, like, for a sure. A couple days. <laughs> yeah. And like. It would be a super white collar prison yeah. too. Like it's not going to be something crazy. Yeah, the guy's jacked. Like yeah, man. For like an old dude. His Instagram's hilarious. It's yeah. just him with his wife, or like people posting pictures with free Roger Stone or Roger Stone's innocent, and then him with his grandkids. Yeah. So like it's, it's just like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's uh, uh, it's crazy. That's yeah, awesome. it's a good one. I yeah, think that's all. I, I started watching the Garth Brooks documentary, but kind of got bored of that real quick. Dude, man, I I haven't watched it. I watched the first five minutes of it. Yeah. Maybe. No, he was still around the fire. Uh, yeah. And I was like, I watched the first episode. This yeah. guy's fucking crazy. Yeah. Garth Brooks is crazy, bro. Yeah. Y- yeah like the anything, <laughs> like he could talk about this glass jar, and it's like he's on the verge of tears. And you're like, bro, like it's just like he just a glass of water. Like, why are you so fucking into this? Wa-? Like the f- part that I saw, he That's was like strange. growing up. Mama was a dreamer and she <laughs> said you, you could fly. But daddy, daddy wasn't like that. Dad, daddy wouldn't say you couldn't fly. But daddy was like, if you want to fly, you got to work real goddamn hard. And then you're what like, the w- what? The w- what? Yeah, I, I think that's all right. Like, a little bit exaggerating it. Yeah, <laughs> but, that's kind of what he says, man. Yeah, like, but run the yeah, fire. Like, like, but yeah, he, he's like on the verge of tears to so everything he talks yeah, about. Everything. He, like, he's just like uh, super over um, emotional about everything. Yeah. And I think yeah. the documentary is somewhat a puff piece. Like, I haven't seen it, but just what I've heard that because there's no one that was like, yeah, f- like he's kind of an asshole. Like, they talked to his ex wife yeah. and I, she's like, no, he's super cool. Yeah, so like, you're well, like, I mean, she got 125 million from so. Yeah, yeah, but it so seems like if you're, she thinks he's super cool. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I'm I just say like, anything. dude, <laughs> Jeff Bezos' wife got how much money? Yeah. But she's probably like, hey, he's kind of a dick. Yeah. And uh, like, yeah. Well, so no, it's he, just funny. he made her sign like a a uh, media release that he's an not, NDA. He's a nice guy. Yeah. Non dick <laughs> agreement for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just a weird doc because it's like this is just the guy's so into it. Yeah, himself. and I mean, like, obviously, like he's a fantastic. You know, if you're a country art, like a country fan, like everybody knows his music. Everybody. That's true. He certainly is popular. Is a Garth Brooks fan. Like, he's one of the only artists that isn't featured on Spotify. Like, you cannot hmm. listen to his music on Spotify. You can't watch his videos on YouTube. Oh, really? Like, he owns, like, it's all his music. Very tight like, control. Music. Yeah. Like,. Maybe that's why he's crazy. He's like, I have so much money, I don't, oh, yeah. I don't know what to do. Oh, yeah, well, it seems to all come funneling back to himself. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's retired twice, and then come out of <laughs> retirement and done like, what? yeah, like, okay, I think uh, he retired early. Didn't like, he like just release an album? Uh, could have, because he just went on like a a huge world tour again, like just recently, within the last like two years. That's crazy, man. Um, but like he he retired like early, yeah. like. 
And then he nah, came he, back, did a like world tour, like his yeah. final tour, then retired again, then did a final tour again. It's so, like fucking kiss, man. Yeah. <laughs> Continually it just, it just seems off. like you would want to be like, all right, dude, cut this shit. Like, what do you really like? Yeah. And then if he's really like that, you're like, all right, then you're really like that. But it just seems like the camera's on and he's like, all right, I got to be super intense. Yeah. Yeah. It's just. uh, Or if he was like that, like, how was your day? And then he's like, oh, my God, today. You'll never guess. I woke up and they're like, dude, what? Like, why? This is. So he has the one song, The Dance. And it's a pretty emotional song. Like, it's. uh, It sounds like they all are, really. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) But I mean, he didn't write it. Oh, like, he didn't actually well, pen it. Okay. No, yeah, most like a lot of songs he didn't write, but um, I always forget that. But yeah, so like yeah, it's a crazy thing to think about, right? Yeah. Goes. Uh, also, the dude who wrote it gets more money. Yeah. Which true. is tight. Like we don't know who that guy is. Yeah. yeah he has more. Uh, so they interviewed the guy that wrote the song. Really? Yeah. I guess we but, don't know who the guy is. But like right off the start of the doc, Who's the like, guy. I forget his name. <laughs> Damn it. Doesn't yeah. matter. He. Yeah. It. it it's the way he prefers it. They interview him a couple times during the doc, and I guess he he was a singer too. But, um, but yeah. So right off the kind of start, like they kind of interview him and they play that song, and like he's like looking off the camera, and it's like eyes are tearing up, and he's like, just those words, those words. I, I as soon as I heard them, I knew. <laughs> like Garth Brooks is? Yeah. Oh. I thought you meant the guy who wrote the me song. Too, and I was like, oh, I was no. like, wait, that guy's <laughs> just looking up and like, why are you crying? I'm like, do you know how many numbers and zeros are in my bank account because of this goddamn song? Yeah, he, uh, but yeah, okay. he was in the Bluebird Cafe in, uh, in Nashville and it was like an open mic night and he heard this guy singing it. Okay. And he's like, oh my God, like I, yeah. I, I need this song. Well, that's not as weird if, it, like, he wrote the song and then they play it back and he starts tearing up and he's like, I forgot how amazing. You'd be like, dude, shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> like, that would be gross. Yeah. So, yeah. But, yeah. So. Huh. Cool. And I, I, I don't think I've seen anything else. I, I checked out that um, psychedelic one, Have a Good Trip. Oh, yes. On Netflix. Nice. Adventures in and Psychedelics. Yeah. It has a bunch, bunch of, like, actors people. and yeah, celebrities. Yeah, talking yeah, about rappers. And yeah. uh, Nick Kroll is in there. Nice. Uh, oh, cool. ASAP Rocky makes an appearance or two. Cool. <gasps> Talks about his lack of actual adventuring, which I thought was hilariously oh, yeah. on point. Yeah. I have no respect for those people. <laughs> so. What do you mean? He just, like, does drugs and doesn't do anything? Like, I think chills? he just pretty much admitted to smoking weed. Oh. Um, he just gets really, really high. Yeah, because he says he's too nervous to try anything stronger, like actual hallucinogens. I kind of, like, I kind of get what he's saying, because like, I could say if you, I don't want this to come off as racist, but if you come from an environment where like you see hardcore drugs, oh yeah, and you're gonna be, be like, I'm like I don't want to wanna do that. I'll just smoke yeah. weed. Yeah, especially and then if you're, you're away from that environment now. Yeah, yeah, and, like and you that. got like money, and they're like, "Oh, I don't want to yeah. do this," and then go like, crazy. Things are pretty good. I don't yeah. want to just like let it all go. Yeah. Still, keep gambling. Yeah, yeah. It was really good though. It was kind That's of cool. like a, a love letter to hallucinogens because yeah. a lot of people had really, really cool stories. Some of them were like wild, like Carrie Fisher. Uh, had some pretty insane oh, stories right. to tell. <laughs> yeah, the, house the amount of cocaine the, that I've done. <laughs> yeah, it's terrifying. Like <laughs> her house where they recorded the her interview segment was like her acid room. It was her acid house, and yeah, it's got some crazy looking knickknacks in there. But they were they were talking Fuck. to Sting, and he was yeah. like, oh, talking about his uh, first peyote experience. And he was like, oh, if I'm gonna do something like this, like, I'm gonna do it the right way. So I flew to Mexico, and it's like took a month off and hiked through the mountains and like, you know. And I was like, no, what? Sting, I don't yeah. fucking know. You know when you just make a Are super hit me? record and then have <laughs> unlimited amounts of money and you can just walk around Mexico for a month? It's just, no, it's just like 1 a.m. in my pigsty apartment with my piece of shit roommate. <laughs> We're high on mushrooms. That's what I know. Sting. Yeah. Yeah, it was, oh, it was great, though. It was a pretty fun documentary. Nice. I'll have to watch that because yeah. I watched like the um, box has a series on Netflix called Explained. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, and I yeah. watched the one on Psychedox. Yeah. Oh, cool. You know, like, I didn't know they had so one. Yeah. Again, there's uh, one on weed. It's pretty good. I, yeah. I did watch that one. I, yeah. I ha- haven't participated, I guess, in yeah. much drug use. Like, I've done shrooms twice. Okay. Well, I mean, that's uh, that's yeah. Sig- yeah. sufficient. I've smoked pot and eaten pot. Uh, that's about it. But Have I was you ever eaten raw weed? No. Just, like, put a whole nugget? Oh, don't. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, doesn't yeah. get you high. No. You, you did that? Yeah. Hold yeah, up a sec. Sure. 
When? Mm-hmm. Like recently or when you no. were younger? When I was younger. Okay, cool, <laughs> cool, cool, um, cool. But yeah, after watching that box, I was like, you know what? If if I was offered LSD, I might try it. Like in the right scenario. Yeah, or I the government. It, uh, <laughs> depends on who it's coming from. Yeah. Yeah. I Like yeah. if I know this person really well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. I would try acid. It. I don't think it, it, it feels too. Yeah, I don't know. LSD and acid are the same thing. Are they? Yeah. Oh, well, see that. See, and I always told myself, I was like, yeah, I know about drugs. I don't do drugs, <laughs> that's, but I know. Yeah, that's so know awesome. Like, <laughs> oh, I don't do cocaine. Like, hey, Tyler, want some blow? Like, yeah, man, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. You do it the same way as coke, but no, 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 it's not coke. You're like, it's oh, blow, right? Dude. See, I know that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I know that stuff. What's with yeah. the needle, guys? Like, it's vitamin C, Tyler. Yeah. Like, all right. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, it's yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. It's it's eye opening cool. to see how people can experience it. Oh yeah, and uh, come out the other side, good or bad. Well, especially like the studies have done on like uh, it helping people with depression, yeah, and, and mental illness and yeah. stuff like mm-hmm. that. Yeah, well, totally. my, my personal favorite is the studies before that when they just gave <laughs> people acid unwillingly and high doses, and then we're just like, let's see what happens. Let's see if they can read people's yeah, minds. Like, oh shit, this <laughs> guy just killed six girls. Oh well. Yeah. I guess he just went crazy. Like, that was part of MK Ultra, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, there's a crazy yeah. book um, that uh, makes the case that they drugged up Manson and, like, that Manson was, like, Charles Manson was yeah. doing his shit. And the CIA, like, knew about it. And local police were told, like, don't go fuck with this guy. Yeah. But they would get reports, like, yo, Manson and his dudes are doing this or doing that like they're robbing my farm yeah and then the cops would be like well we can't really do anything and Crazy. they're like wait what the fuck yeah. yeah but there's a story of um the reason why i brought it up of that drugs and killing is there's a story of a guy who was on an army base and they th- like pretty sure that he was dosed and like, he was a super nice guy and then one night just went crazy and killed this little girl and then they were like, oh, well, you, you did this. And he was like, no, I don't remember anything. Yeah. And, like, I think he was found naked, like, running around in the woods. And, like, Jesus. Just, yeah, there's crazy connections with yeah. drugs. We're like, man, they just gave it to fucking everybody. And we're like, let's see what happens. And then have you ever seen that um, footage of the British government? And they gave their, like, a squadron of military dudes LSD. No. And then they try and, like, get them to do Things, it's crazy. I feel like I have seen. Have you seen that? Yeah. Bits and pieces of it. Yeah. yeah. So the whole thing was like, what happens when we give this group of guys these hardcore drugs and then we have to give them orders? Yeah. Nothing and happens. They just kind of like loll about. Yeah. And like one guy ends up in a tree and yeah, they just like are completely fucked. Because I think they wanted to maybe use it as like, can we give it to these guys and yeah. they'll be like super soldiers. Interesting. That's honestly not that last point, but... um the drug use, I guess, like uh, not maybe really realizing that you're acting differently than how you would otherwise mm-hmm. is kind of how these women acted in My Fake Baby. Oh, yeah, their dopamine levels yeah. are it, spiking. It really looked like drug, ab- not abuse behavior, but drug use behavior. Mm-hmm. It, so, yeah, really. As a disclaimer, I have not seen it. Uh, I had a unfortunately busy week. Uh, so Mitch and Christian have both watched it, so they are going to basically fill me in on on what my fake baby was about. Yeah, which so. I assume is fake babies. <laughs> it's exactly <laughs> that. Uh, there's one real one. One real baby? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Actually, okay. there kind of is. So it's definitely a part of the story. Yeah, it's uh, there. It profiles like three, two or three people. I think th- uh, three buyers. And then the lady who per- makes no, perhaps them. two buyers, and then the one who yeah, so makes three them. people. So there's this younger lady that makes them that can't have kids anymore. She has like th- three or four kids. I think three. I think she has four, four, four children. And then she want yeah, yeah. And then she just saw these babies to get one for her daughter, and then got one, and then was like, oh, I can make these better. But the doc starts off with her going through like a supermarket. And then she's like, hey, you want to buy my baby? <laughs> like, literally says that to people. And they're like, what? And, like, a bunch of old English people are like, is this thing real? She's like, no, no. 
And they're all like kind of stoked. They're like, "Oh, this thing looks super cool." And mm-hmm. so yeah, they're, they're extremely realistic looking. Super. And yeah. they, they move and stuff. They can so, have yeah. mechanisms implanted in them. Yeah, like they can breathing. have heartbeats. Yeah, heartbeats. Yeah. There's breathing. There's like arm movements, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. They. I don't think uh, there's like eye and facial features. Yeah. Like, that'd be fairly sophisticated. Yeah. But yeah, they do look. But I'm quite sure you definitely real. probably could. Yeah, so I've seen like small clips and stuff. Um, Dude, it's it's crazy. And they look kind of creepily yeah. realistic. Yeah, that's what a lot of uh, men said about their wives' uh, hobbies. I guess we'll call them. Yeah, definitely, because they were just they were totally not into it, except for one guy. He was he was at least supportive of it mm-hmm. um, in a pretty hands off way, uh, mm-hmm. but. They had a spicy marriage, their words, not mine. Uh, so <laughs> I think this was probably the least of what he gets to see throughout a week. <laughs> so if he gets to just handle some rubber babies, yeah, rubber that's probably babies. fine. Yeah. Yeah. He can handle that. Yeah. If so the, oh, sorry. I was say, like how, did it talk about how much his babies run? Uh, it never did, actually. No. no. Huh. It might have, but they said pounds, and maybe I was just yeah. thinking that how much they weighed. But I'm like, oh no, it's the money. The only time I no, ever saw didn't. money come up on the screen was when one woman who was uh, purchasing a new baby doll from the states, uh, she was out shopping for clothes as like a welcome home kind of gift mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, and she spent like. Six hundred dollars. Um, yeah. No, maybe it was like t- two hundred and ninety-four pounds, but yeah, that's like four hundred bucks. Yeah, that's like bucks. a ton of money. Yeah, that's a, lot, that's a lot of money. That's On a big purchase for <laughs> a fake baby that will never get dirty. Yeah, what the fuck? That yeah. was precisely why she actually does this is because she doesn't think that she can handle the noise, the mess, the the letdown of it not being a child after a while, and just the general responsibility. So she decided to get a fake baby instead. That couple was hilarious, man, because they're like, yeah, we when we got married, we were like, yeah, we'll eventually have kids. We're just going to have fun. And then it shows them now and they're like, yeah, we're still having fun. (laughs) Fun (laughs) And then the lady says that (laughs) like, I don't want to have this a kid where like they grow up or like they're crying all the time and like dirty. Yeah, yeah. basically like main reason. I don't want responsibility. She wants to just basically take baby drugs. Yeah, like the. Yeah. Drug is the baby experience, yeah. and it's kind of like also pornography. Like it's the it's the pinnacle of that conceptual experience. That when someone experiences pornography, it's kind of the it's the most it's, it's that experience to the extreme. It's like drugs. Yeah, um, dopamine levels are just like everything is perfect. All the boxes are checked yeah. for your biological responses, and this baby. Uh, doll f- hobby is yeah. produ- like it's producing the exact same results yeah, yeah. because the babies like maybe someone likes them crying but just put a crying speaker in them like you can do whatever you want yeah and the baby can look like babies that have been in your life before like they're customizable almost yeah. down to like the skin so texture detail yeah. it's now pretty I'm insane what kind of psychopath would be like I want this to be on an eight hour loop of it crying <laughs> <No>. <laughs> like what the fuck had, had any of them like lost a baby and got it to oh, wow. so Tyler, yeah. <laughs> good point my man so there's this older lady and it's a 45 minute doc so through like 38 minutes of it you're like the lady the way that the lady's talking she's oh do you remember her grandson's name harry harry she's saying i'm like oh harry like when we used to do this with harry and and you're like it's such a build-up of like oh fuck like what happened to harry and like yeah it's quite sad yeah and like oh harry's mom like harry would get dropped off here and then like it would be for a few days and then ended up that he was here for like a month and then there was times where he was here for like a long period of time so we got really used to having him around and then his mom got cured of cancer (laughs) <laughs> and met, the, met this dude from New Zealand. So this lady's fucking super upset because her grandson lives in <laughs> arguably the world's best country. Yeah. And it's in a time where they have Skype, they have email, and they can, like, communicate with this kid. So the whole time you're like, holy shit, what happened? And then the cancer part, when she says that, you're like, oh, no, this kid had cancer. And the whole, like, yeah, the oh, whole story the mom, is built up the is mom like did. as if the okay. child is dead. And yeah, and then you're like, oh, the mom's a piece of shit. And like, no, she 
was probably in a hospital because she had cancer. Yeah, it was quite and misleading. Yeah, and like it's and then she gets a fake baby that looks like her grandson, and then shows her grandson at the end, and her grandson's like, "You're a nut." <laughs> like, check out my baby, and he's like, "It's a doll." And the kid's like, "How old would you say the kid was? Like six, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe like six. Probably kind of yeah. got English like, uh, down somewhat, yeah, like a little bit of awareness as well. Yeah, yeah, totally more aware than his grandma. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, "Yeah, like you're a nut or something. You're Some, a nut bar. Yeah, yeah, you're a nut bar." <laughs> and he's like, "No, it's a baby." And like, "No, no, it's a doll. It's a doll." So you're like, "Holy shit!" Okay, now that's I gotta so watch funny. it. And then yeah. the lady that Christian was talking about that's in the U.S. Okay, so her story's yeah, great. That's a little bit different again. So the woman that Mitch was talking about, yeah, uh, completely has the ability to go see her grandchild. It's pretty fucking easy. Mm-hmm. She's making it out like as if this baby has been wrenched from her arms by the devil himself. Yeah, and he's on fucking he's the gone moon forever. or something. He was one of the first kids to go to Mars or some yeah, shit. So, like, <laughs> she spends hundreds of dollars. Almost guaranteed, without a doubt, more yeah. than more than five hundred bucks. I bet you for this custom child, yeah, to have him in her presence once again. This other woman that Mitch referred to, uh, the one that I referred to about the shopping spree, uh, she procures herself a new baby girl named Sophie, who's unique in her way because she's uh, an, an awake baby. Her eyes are open and she's smiling. Some of these other babies that this woman has, I think she has four others, uh, are sleeping. Wait, so this one woman <laughs> has four babies? Yeah, that's, oh, dude, that's we'll the couple. That point that's later. the couple <laughs> that <laughs> didn't want to like grow up. They'd okay. have fun yeah, a lot. That's Mister Spicy and his wifey. Yeah. So, Mister Spicy and his wifey. <laughs> she has four, I believe, and Sophie, this new doll that she's uh, gotten from America or purchased from America, uh, is this. It's a new one. So, uh, she. First of all, like I mentioned, spends at least six hundred dollars uh, U.S. for new clothes, a new sp- like pair of shoes, okay. just like welcome home shit for this baby doll. Yeah. Yeah. Doll, I can't stress that enough. <laughs> and uh, proceeds to fly to the states to Washington D.C. Yeah. To buy this baby, to have it in person. She rents a hotel room. She brings a friend. I think it's her mom, perhaps yeah. even. Um, and then the doll gets dropped off there. Um, real quick, I just want to say something funny. When they first show the shots of America, the first three shots are the American flag, a fire truck, and then the White House. Nice. It just made me chuckle. And I'm like, oh, wow, they really portray that as like, shit yeah, is, we're here. Shit is <laughs> fucked up here. <laughs> These are the three most important things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we're in America. We got the flag. We got someone probably dying. You put that flag in front. And then that building. All right, I know where we are. <laughs> so uh, this woman, in contrast to the uh, the woman who lost her, lost her grandson, her grandson just fucking moved to yeah. New Zealand. Um, what happened when that kid grew up and then was like, hey, I got to go to school? And she's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, this woman decides to travel all the way to the States for a fake baby. Yeah. The other woman could not handle the fact that her actual grandson, the real baby, simply moved to a great country. Yep. That is the most inverse of two situations I've ever seen. You're both willing to spend large amounts of money, but for very different things. Yeah. This one woman flies to the States to buy a fake baby. This one yeah. other woman will not fly yeah. to New Zealand for yeah. a real baby who's yeah. still alive and super duper healthy and her daughter survived cancer. Like, holy shit, yeah. just go. Yeah. Just go yeah. to New Zealand. Yeah. You buy two dolls, that's a plane ticket there and back. Right. Well, clearly, you've got family. I'm getting worked up about this because yeah. it's insane. Dude, so, okay. So the, that's a, real, oh, that's a I, really weird dynamic. I, I just stories. came up with a great business plan. I'm down. Already. Let's make fake hospital rooms so these women can come pretend like they have. Oh, no. <laughs> man, I thought you were going to say we could make, like, fake kids that are, like, one to, like, seven. I mean, we can do that, too. I think oh that might God. get weird, though. We Dude, have to have speaking like of weird, I was, li- I, was, I was reading to this thing on Reddit about, it wasn't about, I think it might have been about this documentary, but it was just in the comment thread. 
and this person was saying that they worked at one of the real baby places yeah. and oh. it was like a phone like the call center. Oh my god. And they said one of the most frequent calls that they would get that would be super weird was people would ask if it was anatomically correct. My that, that would send shivers down my spine. Yeah, and this person was like, oh, Jesus. And then the most depressing is, like, mothers that lost a baby, like, had yeah. a stillborn, and they'll be like, my therapist told me that this is a good idea. And they're, like, oh telling God. them all their shit, and yeah. they're like, oh, fuck. And I guess the company that this person worked at was, like, the dolls were shitty. Yeah. Like, they were crap quality, so it was just so depressing. And, like, holy yeah. Oh, so speaking of that, the woman who traveled to Washington for her new baby, Sophie, yep, she discovered upon inspection, like probably three. ten minutes after she opened the box. No, 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 it was like three days. It was like two or what? three days. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah. Oh well, she was still in Washington. She yeah, was just chilling in her room. Yeah, um, her and her mom. <clears throat> she discovered a small um, imperfection. I guess we'll call it. Uh, it got damaged in shipping. The baby a had a mole. No, <laughs> he, had a, <laughs> he had a skull fracture. Yeah, there was a big crack <laughs> in the head. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably like silicone yeah. lube. That UPS out. guy gave zero fucks. Shaken baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, pretty much. wow, man. Damn. Yeah. That baby will Shit. never respond. But this this lady, in a flip of a coin, was like, fuck this thing. Really? So did she get it replaced? Yeah. yeah. She's like, I have to send it back. Like, this is bull. And like... A grown woman standing in the corner of the hotel room with her arms crossed, like, fucking pissed at the world. Mm -hmm. (laughs) She's like, I can't, I can't have this thing. And I said to Haley when we were watching this, I'm like, oh my God, if this lady had a real kid with like a mental illness, would she be like, trade it in, I want something (laughs) different because I can't handle this. You can, you can do testing to see if your, your child that's unborn Mm -hmm. has like Down syndrome or. Mm-hmm. Or something like that, or, or like. Well, she didn't do the pre-crack test, okay? <laughs> <laughs> or was like through palsy. So I. Yeah. She is like prime candidate for that. Oh, she'd be like, I yeah. want everything. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I want to know what this kid's favorite color is when it comes out. Mm-hmm. And you're like, yeah. Jesus Christ! But so it was like, just funny how instantly she's like, Nope. How old would she yeah. be? Wow. She's probably fifty-three. Yeah, in her fifties. Okay, so she's never having. Actual kids. No. Hey, why do you go to wreck her dreams like that, bro? Why? Well, just, <laughs> just time wrecked her yeah. dreams. She yeah. had too much fun. Not time. Yeah. Her and her husband said it. They had a lot of fun. Yeah. He races cars. She can't be upset. She and now she gets a baby that doesn't even shit. Fake babies. That's that is cool. a skull fracture. I don't know okay. why she just wouldn't use it as like a Halloween baby. Hmm. Let's or just give it a backstory like, oh, this baby has a skull fracture, so he's like the special baby. He's <laughs> never going to grow old. <laughs> he's yeah. He's Benjamin Button. <laughs> <laughs> or if she had, like, our business model that we came up with. So you model the, like, the two-year-old after the baby. Uh, so you have yeah. progression. So you get yeah. them. So every year you're like, hey, you want that 13-year-old? Yeah, oh, my God. You want that Danny doll? That That's super grows up I don't want to call it Danny doll because I just came up with that, and that sounds really weird. It grows up to be Simple Jack from uh, Tropic Thunder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just get, like, a robot that's human size that's just this asshole. <laughs> Oh man, this is we need to invest in this, yeah. boys. Man, oh man. But like, like I'm how, out. how fantastic would that be? Like, you just like build this fake hospital. Mm-hmm. These women, like, you want them to have the full experience. Yeah, so man, like, that's great. But, I mean, you don't actually give birth. No, obviously, that's oh, no. You just wear a big silicone pouch filled with ragu and the baby. Well, and no, you, ragu. I mean, you, you don't pound on your <laughs> stomach until it flies across. Can the we put like a balloon in there or something and get like the effect? That's something yeah, coming out. A big no, pop. Yeah, no, but I don't like, know. like Christian said, like put a silicone, uh, um, like belly on. Yeah, like a Santa and then, belly, like, and it's in there. It uh, like you have a little machine that pushes it out. Fuck, this is Ooh. a great idea. Yeah. No, it's I think not. we should stop. Ta- <laughs> hey, we should stop talking about this because those fake baby companies. I've already trademarked it. Okay, good, good oh. job, Tyler. Good job. <laughs> What's it called? The Insta Baby. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, like, you just you hire actors. Like, there's a lot of uh, like actors looking for work. Yeah, oh, and especially with ER not getting like, filmed now with the pandy. Yeah, true. Yeah. You could choose your style of birth. Like you could do like African style <laughs> birth. So I want to have one where I almost die. Birth, like, a, yeah. like a water birth. You could take mushrooms first. Yeah. Oh, Because wow. you won't harm the baby yeah. unless you, like, freak out and <laughs> try to eat it because it's covered in ragu. <laughs> well, you had a fake baby, but then you ripped its arms off. That also, in this doc, 
that oh, sorry. Oh yeah, I the, think we're gonna talk about the same thing. <laughs> the at the end or near the end, the lady that makes them and her kids were there, and her kids are like putting them on their nose. Yep. And then her one kid <laughs> had like little baby arms <laughs> in his sweater, and he's like punching his <laughs> sister. And then one of them had the leg, like oh yeah. And then the other one had like baby legs on her ears, nice. and like like it was hilarious. Imagine having just like a bunch of baby parts. Oh right man, their Halloween house. would be so yeah. cool. Like you could deck <laughs> your house out. Yeah. So now, okay. I don't know if they really do. So Halloween after we anymore. started, after we recorded last week, I look. We were looking it up, and I found a clip where the guy's, like, using, like, the air hose to pull up the baby head. Was that in? That was not in. No, that wasn't. Because that looks like it's, like, a (laughs) production factory. Like, this lady, it it literally looked like she just did it in her house. She does. That's what I was going to just say, that um, the woman who was talking about her grandson, Harry, being taken away, and she was looking to get her own doll, she went to this uh, main manufacturing woman's house who lives like very close like 20 yeah. minutes 20 minutes away same community it seems like in britain everyone lives really close to each other i think that's the exact case yeah, yeah. that's cool it's a small island. no matter where yeah. you are 20 minutes away for sure <laughs> yeah. makes sense so this uh this older woman who is looking to get a doll to replace her still alive and very healthy grandson along with her daughter who's also healthy because it's not a big yeah, deal at all emotionally moved on in his life <laughs> <laughs> you fucking nut bar um she takes her into the room where uh she actually makes the dolls and shows her and then uh she's like okay well like i'm gonna show you the one that i've picked out for you and she goes underneath uh, like a hospital style bed and uh, it's just a little drop down shelving unit underneath the actual mattress and she pulls out this plastic ziploc bag fairly large like freezer bag style full of baby parts and yeah. you can clearly see a head and like legs skull in which ways like a jigsaw puzzle she slaps it down on the table and just pulls the head out of the bag she's like oh it's like it's really good she kind of squishes it a bit and hands it over to the grandma and then she takes a look she's like oh it looks looks just like him his lips are all the same and anyways they're oh, like fawning over this rubber sack of parts but it was pretty disturbing to see this woman nonchalantly grab such realistic looking baby parts i clearly understand that they're silicone constructions and i know that this woman who makes them also understands that because it's literally her job but something about it is still kind of disturbing that they look so real and that's the point of them is to exactly replicate real life so I mean, imagine it was just creepy, dude. Imagine you had like, like your mom or your aunt or something has one of these things, and then like they unfortunately pass away, and then in the will, like, fuck, why do I get twelve fucking <laughs> real dolls? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's so weird. Especially like, imagine you had them, like a single dude that lives alone, and they're like, oh, so. Those are my grandma's dolls. Don't worry. And they're like, what? That's the that fuck? room. Yeah. Close the door, please. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. I thought that was the bathroom. It smells like condoms in here. <laughs> oh, that's the babies. Yeah. Those <laughs> things, they're crazy. <laughs> they get after each other. Um, but yeah, that would just be something to, yeah. like, be will. And you're like, <laughs> oh, fuck. God. So I used to work in on cold storage. I like to work on a TV show called That's Art. Yeah. And, like, that's the kind of stuff that we'd profile. Like, it's stuff that, you know, the regular person doesn't consider art, but really it's kind of artistic. Like yeah. we had like oh, 100%. goalie hockey masks. Um, that's cool. Guy, like a tattoo artist. Like people know that's art. Like mm-hmm. it, it takes artistic talent, but people don't think of it as like highbrow art. Like, mm-hmm. right? like you don't mm-hmm. go to a yeah. uh, art museum and see people's tattoos. Yeah. Which you totally um, should, but yeah, yeah, that's a whole other argument. Um, and like it pop up books and stuff like that. I, right. That's fucking cool. That would have been like a prime story because like yeah, there has I, to be someone in she's Toronto. She's a pretty good artist to make these babies look such so realistic, right? Yeah, the, her attention to detail looks incredibly fine. Yeah. yeah, and the way that she explained it was like when she got her first doll and it wasn't as real as she thought. She's like, I just went and got some paint. Yeah, and so then it like, shows this like super. Re- so you're like, whoa, this lady understands tone. Yeah. She completely replicated like the white fingernail tips yeah. on huh. babies. Like, like to her, yeah, her attention to detail was uh, supreme. Yeah, we should, some, get, like, we dirty should get nails. one as a mascot. Totally. Oh yeah, it looks like little Kim Kimchi Bowl here. Can we, <laughs> what can we name him? We gotta name him something cool. I seriously want to get one. Like I am so fucking down. Yeah, I don't I have that kind of money for that kind of thing. Oh, man, we can... Make a YouTube channel, maybe. Why don't we adopt one? <laughs> <laughs> we don't need a new one. 
Oh, true. Yeah. There's got to be someone that was like, I thought I'd be into this, but. Uh, so when did this come out? 2008, I think yeah, it was. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It says like, on here. Yeah, the, 2008. The old woman uh, with the grandkid. I mean, she might be getting up there. Man, we're gonna pay an arm and a leg for shipping. She's in the UK. You'll also have to pay for the torso and the other legs and the head. We can we can go over and get it from her. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. Give me your fucking baby. Well, no. <laughs> we'll just say, hey, we, we'd like to look after a little Harry after yeah. after you pass. We won't after you pass. Well, we, you know that we one promise time in your life. Where we you're promise we won't take him to New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. Think of us, yeah. just to Canada. And then we send her a picture of real Harry and baby Harry together. Like fuck you. <laughs> That gives a whole new meaning to, like, shipping body parts to people around the country. Yeah. Well, Man, as realistic as they are, imagine how many TSA employees or, like, custom dudes <laughs> open up a box. <laughs> oh, we got a box of 12 babies. Like, what? What did you just say? Open them up. Yeah. And, they, and the heartbeat's going. She's like, oh, oh shit. my God. Yeah. I wonder how many times that's happened. Like, who the fuck shipped a baby like this? I, now we need to talk to a TSA, like, TSA agents. You should. <gasps> So now we have the new documentary. It's about the TSA agents that find the fake babies. <sighs> fake baby find. Something like that, yeah. Fake find. No, TSA. No, no. We'll, we'll hash out the title later. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> we got a lot of business proposals in this episode. Oh. I like it. I, I'm still down with the hospital one. If the hospital one's good. That's. I mean, like, if they're willing the, to. The kid doll one's a little creepy. I don't, I don't like that one. <laughs> yeah, let's pass it. Even on. though that's my idea. I don't like it. What about those old toys that you'd throw in a glass of water and they would grow up with <gasps> a big sponge? Holy shit. So, dude, what if you had one that like slow grew so it took like a year? You have to like wash it every day. To grow fully so it's like a real yeah. experience. I just saw a picture on Reddit, I think Yuck. it was. Uh, some That's kid, nasty. Some kid put like they had a dinosaur, excuse me, a dinosaur one. Yeah. And they put it in, but the head was sticking out, so the head was still small. <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> cool. Grew, like, the head that's grew a little bit through <laughs> yeah, absorption. But, yeah, but. But, yeah, the uh, the head stayed. That's how you make shrunken head babies, then. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Right. Yeah. That's great, guys. I, I mean, I think I, I think we could be millionaires. I, I seriously want to get one as a mascot, though. And then we could put, like, kick-ass tattoos on them and shit. Put burn marks on them, <laughs> like that one guy. I want to like said. fucking. We gotta like fuck them up, like shoot them up the and moon. shit. Even if you miss, you'll just be floating in space until you die. Yeah. Have a cigarette. That's in so his peaceful. Mouth. Oh, a smart guy. What a good quote. I wanna. I really wanna have this real baby doll. Raul. To be. Oh, okay. I wonder if there are fire retardant ones. Well, Dude, even not, not we're going to light his ass on fire. You're not allowed to use that word anymore. <laughs> what Raul or fire retardant? Fine. <laughs> Uh, resistant, I believe, is what you're supposed yes, to say. Yes, that's more politically correct. Fire Flame away. Resistant? Fire away. Fire away material? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get away, fire. Wow. You're not welcome here. <laughs> that's not fair. You need to be more tolerant. It's too cold for you here. You can tell. Yeah, okay, so we need to write this down. We got a, bus- a couple businesses. We got to buy a real fake baby. I, c- it, I would like to see the price. A real of, fake baby uh, sounds like a baby that had plastic surgery. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, gross. So, anyways, <laughs> the the another creepy part about this was that the lingo, every hobby, I think, develops a lingo. Sure. This one absolutely does as well. Yeah. So, when they're talking to each other, because there's a massive online fan base for this, too, like uh, yeah. hobbyists. Yeah. Um, fandoll.com, I remember, if yeah. anyone wants to... Check it out. Don't. I'll be going there later. Okay, so <laughs> just on that specific note, because that was weird. <laughs> uh, the woman who got the doll of her grandson, who is healthy and alive oh, in New Zealand, along Harry. with her daughter, who survived cancer. Poor oh, Harry. <laughs> it's just such a melodramatic story. Oh, Harry. I can't get over it. <laughs> oh, shit, he died? <laughs> nah, he just moved. She was getting more and more interested in purchasing one for herself. So she joined a forum online called fandoll.com. Anyways, she makes a post just saying, hi, everyone, I'm mm, someone, and I don't have a doll, but I just like to come on here and look at pretty lovely dolls. Oh, no, babies. Sorry, she used the word babies because they Ooh. treat these things like they're yeah. real humans. Uh, I feel like they'd be super offended if you call them dolls. Yo. Yes, they are. Yo, um... This has nothing to do with... Well, kind of has something to do with this documentary. Then shut the fuck up. Man. Mm-hmm. All right. What now, you got? Haley follows this thing on Facebook. It's like uh, kind of like a marketplace thing, but it's like antique, but it's like all over North America. So people from the U.S. 
post shit on yeah. there, and there's this lady that posts shit on there all the time, and this lady has a bunch of real dolls. Dude, I forgot to tell you this. She has real dolls that are like little monkeys. There's one uh, a that's werewolf? a baby. No, uh. a fucking baby deer, but has like baby deer legs, but then like a human face with like white freckles and baby ears, oh, and then like little yeah. kind of hoof, kind of hands. I've seen like baby <gasps> werewolf ones. Bro, yeah. Can we yeah. get that as our mascot? Probably, yeah. We still have to like oh, beat the man. shit out of it, though. I would fawn over that. Yeah. I don't <laughs> want it anatomically <laughs> correct, though. Um, yeah, no, I've seen pictures of like real life, like baby werewolf. Yeah. Uh, That's no. like oh, next level. Really? Like how many, if you have a baby werewolf, real fake doll, I don't even know what the fuck mm-hmm. you would call that, but how many like real fake babies do you have? Like, no, there's yeah. no way you. That's your first that's one. Special no? edition. Yeah. No, there's yeah. no way you're it's going in. Edition, there's yeah. no way you're going in that deep. You're like, I got a room full of. That'd these. be so cool if that like was the case that you do have a room full of them. You are the kind of person to put them in prams and walk them around yeah. in public because there's a lot of that as well. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. then for all of October, you still do that. <laughs> but it's the werewolf baby. And people are like, oh, like, let me see a little boy. Ah, like, ah, yeah. <laughs> he's black and hairy. What yeah. the fuck? It gives him like a little sound box in him. So what big like, teeth you have? So it, it, again, that would be fun. Since I haven't seen it, do. like that'd be fun. I assume like they make these babies different races, or is it just all white babies? I feel like one of them I saw uh, the woman who traveled to Washington. I feel like she did have one uh, darker skinned baby doll, but yeah, I but don't. The lady that makes really them know. has like the color of the rainbow yeah she yeah she can do anything really yeah. but no they just profiled like yeah. two white i wonder women. if she would actually do anything like if you sent her a picture of a bunch of can you do aliens. an asian baby and like that's racist you're like what Wait, what f- no i'm going way beyond that shit well like an alien uh, yeah, yeah. Extra shrek, dude why not they're making fucking deer and babies like, do you mind <laughs> painting it green adding like shrek antenna ears okay i'm so that's what our mascot needs <laughs> to be also like little balloons in the eye sockets to make them yeah. Pop. Oh man. No, it's like pop, pop, pop. But and then have like an irregular heartbeat. Yeah. Has <laughs> like two hearts. Oh man. Maybe That'd make his cool. legs move a little. Like. Me, me, me. Yeah. Tentacles. Oh, oh there we go. Little... Yeah. Man, that would be sick. Yeah. So I wonder if she would do it. Probably not. But I wonder. Why not? How would you She's get, like, the soft Give tentacle arms? Money. She'll like, figure it out. She just buys them bulk, I believe. She's fucking glue Katamari on that oh, shit. I don't know. Really? Yes. There's no way. Yeah, she's not, like, melting. She doesn't actually make the silicone molds. Uh, no, I don't think you See, could do that I'm around very, kids. I'm, I'm much less impressed with her. It's that. not as artisan anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Lego, bro. She just, yeah. like, Legos it together. Exactly. And does a little painting on it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so shit. In that I process, got too many right arms. In that process of her making these babies... Um, they look. Uh, they they use that weird lingo again, and uh, they're expecting is what they say when yeah. they don't See? actually <gasps> have the baby. Oh, yet. Me, 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 you. I don't know if you caught it, but when the lady, uh, the Washington D.C. lady, is waiting in the hotel room with her mom, there she is waiting there, and she's like, "Oh, this is a long. This is a long um, uh, delivery. Yeah, this is a long delivery." See, yeah, I'm telling um, you, my my hospital idea is a hit, man. Yeah, actually, the more we talk about this, that, yeah. I I'm in, man. Especially in the states, bro, because like you could, it's totally private. It, Holy shit balls, you could make so much money. They could schedule the date so the kid has a birth date. Yep. Uh huh. I'm telling you, man. This is a great okay. idea. I'm actually rather that, convinced. You have different. Oh, I bet you. Oh, oh, you weren't so in. Hey, now can, you're in. You have different that. wings of the hospital again, like, uh, like natural Dude, births. Dude, holy shit, this totally works because the like alien even ward. with even with yeah. progressive couples, you could get like four dudes in there to be like, you guys, one of you guys want to give birth because oh. like you can totally go through that you experience. You can go chest burster style. Fuck yeah. Total re- or um whatever that movie. Let's we'll we'll find a building here that could set as a hospital. We'll buy it. Yeah. And we'll start getting What's on the outside, though? Like, this isn't a hospital hospital? Because yeah. what if people show up with, like, one arm and they're <laughs> like, help? I'm like, bro, this is all fake. I don't <laughs> know what to tell you. Call it real baby hospital. Yeah. Or maybe we should be located by the real hospital. So if that mix-up <laughs> happens, like. Next door. Yeah. Sorry, bro. You need to oh, go there. Yeah. Call it the afterbirth. <gasps> oh. That also sounds like a good so bar name. It, so it doubles as, like, a hotel. Yeah. So like they can they stay can, after. They can stay rooms there. 
You can rent a womb. Oh, oh shit! Nice. That was we could just call it the womb. The womb. No, I like the womb's the f- for rent. The first <laughs> womb. Womb for rent. <laughs> womb for rent. Yeah. Now we're on the list somewhere for a hate speech. <laughs> we never yeah. said it. I, I'm talking about it. <laughs> it actually does sound like a good idea. Fuck, man. That and these people are so dedicated. I can. I guarantee you, the woman who flew all the way to the states would definitely fly to yeah, Canada to yeah. pop one of these. Oh, yeah, out. yeah. Be like, we I don't have really a snack care about pack in your lunch. Like, I don't care about the, eth- the ethics of it. So you just like, we're just really making hard. money off of and then sorrow. I don't think it goes against anything ethically. You're it's getting chocolate pudding everywhere. You're getting these. Oh, <laughs> that does happen. <laughs> you're giving these women. That's so realistic. Um, like the chance, like m- maybe some of these women buy because they actually can't have kids. Yeah, you're that's what I was kind of saying. Experience, we're, right? Man, you want to be around that sadness constantly, though. Like, we need to be set this up so like we're not there day to day because I couldn't handle that sadness on daily. We would definitely film it. Fuck. Well, and yeah. Therefore, I could easily handle it yeah. without them knowing. Like, <laughs> what? No, no, of course we would let them know. The, oh, they sign on you guys release. are no fun. It'd be Fuck like off. when they like show up to the Big Brother house. You're like, all right, you're gonna be on TV yeah. first. You're gonna get a so. fake baby in here. Sign this. <laughs> yeah. That would make it like man, and they had like Netflix food. Or someone would buy that show. Oh yeah, have crazy ladies that just get drunk. We could just deliver honestly their fake baby. contact BBC and call it my fake birthing, or my fake yes. birth. Yeah, we're part of the Commonwealth. They'll hook us up. Yeah, we're not that country down below that said good day to you. We could call it pro choice. No, I like afterbirth. Oh no, the show. Okay, afterbirth. <laughs> <laughs> That's the. Uh, Discussion episode town. after it. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's the panel show the after. Yeah, 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 yeah. With um that Sweet Cohen dude. Cohen. <laughs> <Cohen. laughs> sure, why not? It sounds disgusting. Man, we just <laughs> set up a fucking empire, boys. Yeah. Oh man. I think three white dudes setting up fake hospitals for babies is a real good business plan. Or like in despair, women. Oh man, this is. I, that's actually I'm a down. good point. What you said earlier, though, I didn't even consider uh, male partners yeah. coming in, like yeah. people who like biologically can't. Yeah, and, and, and even a bunch of same teams. Like we, we're <laughs> down. <laughs> we are down. Even if they don't want to take part, like in a, like an actual birth, so like they can hang out so and have like, some yeah, beers. Same sex couple. No, but you just have like a, a big kind of like an uh, open room. I was, I was kidding, not a NICU, but like one Put of those rooms that have like the. The incubators, like yeah, or yeah, the, with the glass, the bassinets, yeah, yeah, and then they come and say, "Oh, there's our new baby." Yeah, they pick it up from the hospital. If they didn't want to do the process and everything, the birth thing, yeah, that'd yeah. be kind of funny. Yeah, but you mm-hmm. can totally get dudes that would be down oh, for sure. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh man, this is great. Yeah, this is beautiful. We should contact the manufacturer who makes those babies in the stock. Give get something call. going. See it would she also be uh, slightly mind blowing if, like, in some country, and this is like a huge thing and already exists. And we're like, oh, oh, what the oh fuck! It's gonna yeah. be the state. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking like somewhere in Europe or some like I don't know. Transylvania. <laughs> That's just vampire babies. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Would you like birth under the midnight sun? Uh, Elizabeth Patry. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, dude. It's uh, it's too much blood for me. Yeah, I th- I going into this, um, from what I kind of researched online about trying to find this doc to watch and just what this was, I was like, oh man. And then reading that Reddit thing about that person that worked at it at the yeah. manufacturing place was like, oh, this is gonna be so sad. Like these women all gonna have like dead babies or like they had their baby die in their arms or like. <sighs> this could get heavy, especially right. being BBC, because like yeah. they give zero fucks, and you'll be like, "Holy shit, this is so heavy!" Yeah, and like I thought it was just about like, this. Yeah, yeah. There's no, I was gonna say there's no censoring, but like they're they're very much more liberal and yeah, they, they don't have to deal about. with um like advertisements. Yeah, so that doc could be. That's something I noticed about this this doc, uh, just in its actual production, was that it was um, it was fairly. Uh, loose in terms of the actual documentarians interacting with subjects. And yeah, very rarely. On top of that, there was a separate narrator uh, as well. Yes. And then there was obviously the first-hand account of what was documented. Yeah. Um, that's that's interesting for a BBC thing. I'm not, like, prolifically knowledgeable of the BBC's so documentary history. They do a lot of, like, um, narrating... But yeah, yeah, there was a few yeah. times. But it just—it's a cool element because it kind of added to it. Because you would hear behind the camera, and they'd be like, "Oh, so Tyler, tell me about this." Because like when they were asking the husbands, like, "Yo, Tyler, yeah. what do you think about this?" Yeah, a lot of the time. And they then they're like, "Talk to them." Yeah. And oh man, the one time when the 
the lady who the Harry yes. Harry Harry's grandma when she comes home, and then her husband like shows her husband, and he is so not down. Like not in like a, an aggressive exploding kind yeah. of way, but she was just like, "What? What do you think of the new baby? Like, looks yeah. just like Harry." He's like, "I, I don't like it." Yeah, yeah. no, and it's then, not for me. I, I, he I'm just, heading to New Zealand next week. Yeah. <laughs> he just walks out. Yeah, and as the scene ends, she's like, oh, no, no, no. And you're yeah, like, "That's actually a good impression." That's this, exactly this what she sounds like. Dude, just like pull a knife on this fucking lady, like. But yeah, I just so thought that was funny. Speaking Hillary's of like, like BBC I'm docs and stuff. I, I don't I don't know if it's one I put on the list that put in there, but uh, I watched a clip. I think I found it on Reddit, uh, but it's basically kind of the same thing. But it's about women that uh, like are essentially sex workers, oh. and, and Louis uh, Thoreau, um, okay, okay, directed. So, whereas you said like the documentarians don't really have a lot of interaction with the the subjects, mm-hmm. this one like he's talking to them the whole time, and yeah. okay. one couple. In that uh, documentary, reminds me of it. it's like a older couple. Like he knows she does it. Like she does cam shows. She meets up with guys, and he's just like, yeah, no. Like if it makes her happy, boom, I'm down. And like ha- they have like a really kind of crazy sex life. I would think so. But yeah, like they, yeah, it just talks to these women that like cool. are sex workers directly. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and it was it was well done. That's something that I've been thinking about for a while is classifying. Sex work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just peddling my body around town. Um, classifying documentaries into that sort of, uh, ob- like, a, uh, an objectivity scale. Right. That, like, this is literally no interaction. Simply mm-hmm. the camera was turned on, mm-hmm. and then it was turned off. Nothing else happened. The documentarians have no part in this. There's mm-hmm. no narration. It's simply on-site documenting Just what's going on, and then there would be like class two objectivity, where it would be that same scenario plus uh, third-person right. narration after the fact to talk mm-hmm. more about what's going on, and then there's class three objectivity, where it's the camera's turned on to document. There is some narration to flesh out the story, and the actual documentarians are making interactions. So yeah. They've they've changed the dynamic of this kind of documentary. Right, it's, it's technically different, but it would be it would be cool to break down documentaries and to start our own little scheduling. Yeah, we can yeah, sure that is interesting them. because it, with you just bringing that point up, Christian, um, you can really see it with when we watched American Teen about how you're exactly. like, oh, this was so fucking driven. That's like yeah. class four. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. there was direction from the doctor. I think actually we call that Jersey Shore. Yeah, I think yeah. Um, <laughs> or or um um a feature film. I believe yeah, or what just that's a what feature that's film. called. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that so category needs to be yeah. called Michael Moore. So yeah, you can have Michael class Moore, one, yeah. two, three, and then the Michael Moore and more. One, two, three, and more. Fuck, dude. Oh. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> this is awesome. So but yeah, that's a good idea. I like that because that's interesting because you can really see. It, would, it changes like the yeah with a, a, a war doc they're not really like so what do you think yeah. what's going on you kind of just like let's just yeah. fucking film that would that. be an interesting way to see what kinds of documentaries typically are classified as what like yeah. um, war documentaries seem to always be class two where it's narration and documentation yeah. that's mm-hmm. it there's yeah. no actual interaction because most of the time you right can't. yeah because it's a fucking war. Yeah. <laughs> Let me take five minutes out of your day while you're getting yeah. shot at. Yeah. What'd you Maybe have for this breakfast? Concrete hut protecting us. There's one um uh no. this doc called Fuck. I forget what it's called, but it's about the Korngal Valley or whatever that valley oh, in Afghanistan. In that, uh, yeah, yeah. The nest or No, I, I know which one you're talking fuck, about. Fuck, I forget what it's called. But there it's definitely class one because there's a scene where a guy gets killed. And they just have the camera, and it's just these guys interacting. And the one guy going to, like, he's best friends with the dude. So, and, and like, in a scene like that, imagine, like, the camera guy is like, hey, uh, so what are you guys feeling right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or if there's narration, like, you don't, no, just fucking let it play out. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That w- it's going to be interesting now to watch docs from that perspective. Or just like, oh, shit, they should have done this. When, I like, that's I like the fact that this one was uh, narrated a little bit, and that it was yeah uh, interactive almost. It definitely drove the story. Yeah, because like it it is a little bit shocking, and when 
they yeah. introduce a new doll to the husbands um, yeah. on the fly, fresh reaction. You're like, oh, what do you think of that? And he's yeah. like, oh, uh, and like that's that's a reaction. Yeah, that's yeah. like a real document. All right, uh, take two this time. Exactly. Uh, like the doll. Yeah, I'll yeah. ask the question again. Yeah, and like we'll redo this. We're yeah. gonna do it with every kind of reaction. That yeah. way, we can just pick and choose which one we want. A yeah. black one. Like no, no, sir, you can't yeah. say that. With the caveat though that. I guess, I guess, no, this isn't, that's not, that's not, uh, never, I was going to say, like, when they ask a question, it changes the documenting, because you're now, you're getting something that wouldn't have normally been there. Right. Definitely, in certain cases, but like, the American teen, I 100%. Guess, like that's, that's the whole point and of the, uh, the classing. I'm yeah. like, I'm not going to lie, I'm. My head just keeps going back to the hospital thing. <laughs> my, yeah. my, my sister You're just sitting over there and like, guys, I just got the business proposal. Uh, we got a building tomorrow. Right. This my is how this guy works, man. Yeah. You come up with an idea and he's like, so uh, we're into production tomorrow. I'm like, fuck. All right, Tyler. Cool. My sister works on the uh, maternity ward. We got we got our man. we got our uh, our we brain get, trust there. And we got our props. choreographer. Yeah. We can yeah. get yeah. props. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, choreographer. She, she just sneaks us out like a heart monitor. <laughs> yeah. Here, guys. These <laughs> are authentic. Incubator. Yeah. You can just get this from the back door. Yeah. Okay, so she's oh. prop manager, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, our incubators just need to be like suitcases. Yeah. So you just like, well, like a hole cut in it or something. <laughs> We're like, hey, this is the first run, okay? Uh, we can make realistic looking props. Oh, man. That'd be... We can do it. That's <laughs> great. <laughs> it's going to be the weirdest place to work ever. I'll, like, I'll drive you around. I don't want to. There's ambulance, bro. You can get home delivery. Oh, oh man. Boom. The, the experience starts at your front door. That's our fucking tagline, boys. Ew. We, uh, I, I work at a flooring store. I can get actual hospital flooring. I cool. True. There we go. This we're, is we're literally building from the floor up. Yeah. Realism 101. Like, it, it's going to bring a goddamn yeah. tear to my eye. I wonder if you could buy one of the packages that, uh, you have the birth in the car, like in a public park. Yes. yes. Just like, oh, I didn't make it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going into labor yeah, that's, now. Yeah, that's a cheaper experience. That's like a fifty dollar one. Bad. You just like pay the town fifty bucks to clean up all yeah. the sauce. Afterwards. Oh, I'm sorry. I got your sidewalk like, dirty. I don't think we need that much realism where we have the No, bro, we're getting yeah. people. Tom like Cruise that. is gonna be like, I wanna be in one of these. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. one's good. This is great, guys. Also, the smell each evening, because we're going to have to do something with the sauce left over in the bag. All the ragu? Big old spaghetti bake. What do we do with all the uh, ragu? <laughs> you don't bake it. No, <laughs> that's, a dirty, that's a dirty <laughs> ragu. <laughs> that's a dirty hard ragu, yeah. Oh, uh, man. We just give it to the stray dog. So do like the lady in the oh, tramp thing. Oh, that's great. The lady in the tramp, they need food. Because like, it's going to have to look like Dude, that's beautiful. A this is like a beautiful circle. We I, have fake I babies. I think everyone has tuned out as of now. They're like, Fuck this hospital thing again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Do we pick something new? Um, Let's pick something. I think well, it's your turn. Get, but I had one if question. If you talk about this fucking oh, hospital, no, yeah, I'm going to fucking stab you. It's actually about the dog. So okay. this woman who had the of her grandson, the doll of her yeah, grandson, Harry? does she have any others? No. Oh, so No, this is her first. Yeah. She probably uh, does, but pro- they're pro- like, pro- hey, I'm now. here, and like, fuck you. Harry and the Henderson. But she never s- did you. say that she had more kids. She just said that it was her Yeah, daughter. but I, th- I feel like yeah. this is like one of those hobbies that like you start off and then it just kind of snowballs. That's and you, an interesting point. Yeah. And because, you get yeah, like what Christian said earlier with drug use. Yeah, yeah so it just like that, she was hesitant before she even purchased one. Then she went to go, like she saw one, she got to hold uh, the prototype and it changed her mind even more. Yeah. She pretty much was sold. And then she got the doll, and she was just over the moon. Yeah. Like, you would think that she just won $100,000. Yeah. When, in fact, she probably spent about 1000 anyways. And then, <laughs> at the very end, so she makes a couple of remarks. Like, ah, like, there's some women out there I see on the forum who, like, take them out in prams and strollers in the public. And I don't know if I'm ever going to do that. But, yeah. like, I'm excited to get it. Yeah. And that's a good start. The end. She doesn't say anything else, and I don't know if the narrator makes any comment either, no. but she no. just simply is seen on shot walking yeah. with a pram out in public. Is so that the lady also that cleans the wheels? No, that was the woman who went to Washington. Oh, okay. She's got indoor and outdoor wheels. I can't remember what she calls them. She has a funny name for the dirty ones. And they're British. They call... Dirty circles or something. Dirty <laughs> circles. <laughs> yeah, Not she, yeah, she was. Uh, she was quite... Particular, yeah. So, like, on her stroller, 
right. yeah on her yeah. multiple prams and uh, she has white wheels, white wheels. So. like maybe let's get black wheels so she was definitely living some kind of illusory fantasy because she was dressed completely in like all flowing white style clothing her hair was like uh dog the bounty hunter blonde and <laughs> About I, that I hope fried. it was like straw colored. Like <laughs> yeah, it was kind of oh straw man, she's textured just, too. She's in her own fucking romantic comedy every day. It's yeah, it's like just literally. a movie in her head. Like yeah, yeah. She wakes up. She's like, oh, I'm gonna be this today. Like oh she gets man. back into character. It's kind of weird. It's like 1984. Double think. But it, w- it it was neat. But it's with that being 45 minutes. It's almost like man, like what. How long are these people into this? Like, it would be an interesting doc to do, mm. expand yeah, like on the, the subject. Phase. Yeah, like follow no, them over like ten years. Yeah, and like, what the fuck do you do with it after? Yeah, or like, yeah, because well, like maybe that's why most women end up taking them out in public, and then they get another one, and then they have a little band of. Yeah, uh, I'm tired. Just walk around and like, hey, do you want this? So like, yeah, sure. I'm tired of Joe today. I need a new yeah. one. I need, I need yeah. yeah, this thing's getting a little lippy. Ten years on, I mean. That's a long time to be looking at the same uh, goddamn thing. Maybe all like dirty and like <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. So like do they up? bathe them and stuff? Like, no, they like put them in the dishwasher. They can <laughs> take, them, take them apart, hose them down. I bet you some of them do. Oh, definitely, dude. Yeah, they put like they they also the one the Washington lady hers came shipped with baby diapers on its head. Yeah, that on was its the hands. Rap. On its feet, like it was hilarious. I did that with my nieces the other day. We put diapers on their head and let them run around. Oh. Clean diapers, oh, <laughs> of course. But yeah, I mean, if they were full, it'd be extra padded. Made them look like bonnets. No, he, t- exactly. he did it as a point. Like now you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I have pulled out our next one. What do we got? I'm excited. <laughs> just kidding. I will just give you one word, Katrina. <gasps> Is that all it's called? When oh. the Levies had broke. When the, when the levees broke, a requiem in four acts. So it's all about uh, yeah, Hurricane Katrina. Levees broke in New Orleans and uh, the damage and some everything water. it caused. Some, some, some water. A little from, bit of water. From Lake Poncha Choncha Choncha Train. God damn it. Yep. yep. I mean, another cool. one. This was like a This is a Spike Lee me. one, too. This is the second is Spike Lee, right? Yep. Yeah, Perfect. Oh, yeah, man, cool. it paints it paints All right. the white race and not the greatest light. So oh, I, I, obviously, I, I, it I, is a Spike Lee joint. But mm-hmm. I, I think that's that's fair. <laughs> it's, it's very fair, but that's yeah. a running theme with. So, I just Spike-y. gonna let you guys know it is twenty twenty, but I'm a racist. I hate white people because we <laughs> suck. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Clap, 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 clap. Do we have it, a clapping sound clip? I think we do somewhere. I, I don't know which one. Play that. So I will play laugh. that laugh. <laughs> Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, no, I, I I think it's probably a fair assessment. I think it's something for sure. That's yeah, it paints Mr. Bush in a pretty shitty light. I think that's probably also a fair assessment. And, and states around Louisiana in a shitty light. Yeah. So yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, that happened in like twenty. Uh, s- Katrina was two thousand three. Yeah. yeah, and I was there in New Orleans last year, and there's still. Oh yeah! Where you're like oh, that like there was a boat that was like fucking just and like someone's lawn, and right. it was like oh yeah, that's just there. I think Katrina was actually 2005. And like old, um, old highways, like over the water, that were just taken out, and they just leave sections of them. Yeah. So August 23rd, 2005 to August 31st, Fuck. 2005. That yeah. should be updated to June 27th, 2020. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because, like you said, not yeah. everything's put back Well, down. and, like, we drove past, like, housing complexes that you could take, like, a war zone or, like, a bombed-out building and this building, and they're like, oh, well, this building just has a few more trees, but they're exactly the same. And yeah. it's, like, a huge housing complex. They're like, where the fuck did all these people go? Yeah. Or, like, going to the Six Flags. It's just completely abandoned amusement park. Yeah. And they're like, holy fuck. That's insane. Yeah. But, I mean, don't build a city in a hole. Yes. True enough. Kind of fucked. So, when we were talking about docs that I uh, we watched before, yes. um, I, I guess I didn't really classify it as a documentary, but it's a documentary series, essentially. It's uh, on Netflix. Um, uh, Trigger Warning with Killer Mike. Oh, I've seen some of yeah. some of them. I, saw, I watched the first three episodes. That's cool. Um, so, I don't know if you know who Killer Mike is. 
Uh, I feel like I do. You probably but know. Do you know uh, Run anything. the Jewels? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's the one of the dudes in Run the Jewels. Okay. That's so, not LP. Yeah. Episode one, like he, so he gives a stat like uh, about keeping money in in the community. So like, oh yeah, this is a crazy so stat. Asian uh, community keeps Asian dollars in their community um, for twenty eight days. So like, so say you know you go to like Chinatown in in uh, Toronto, mm-hmm. that community keeps their dollars that they spend in their community for twenty eight days. Mm-hmm. Um, Jewish people. Uh, keep their uh, money in their community for 23 days. Uh, white people keep their money, or I guess our money, in our community. Uh, yeah, I thought you just said we sucked. Why do we got to <laughs> be with the guys that suck? On average of 21 days. Mm-hmm. So when I get paid on my paycheck, yes, that money well, is... So, so say you go buy something at a store. That money bounces around in the white community for 21 days. Okay. Yes. Because it's like a white a white owned business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they sp- spend theirs at another white owned business. Like so, they're buying um, office supplies at Staples, and Staples is buying like it just mm-hmm. until it goes out into like the government or whatever. So everyone's like roughly market. almost a month. Yeah. Like it's close. And then uh, the black community is six hours. Oh. They keep. The is that a statistic? Grown. Yeah. From or resulting from black owners of businesses being uh, well, it's just qualified. No, it's just no. I think they just get money. Hard to spend money at like so. The premise of the episode is I think I know where you're going. He's only buying black, so he's only spending money in black uh, restaurants. He's not spending any money outside of the black community. So he's like, okay, you know, this is going to be hiring and do it for three days. Okay, well, I can't drive because there's no. Black owned uh, auto, automakers. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Well, I, I have to get rid of my phone because it was made by Apple or whoever. Yes. Uh-huh. But he, he finds there's a black owned cell phone company. That, uh, mm-hmm. It's a black owned company that makes cell phones. Oh, cool. Um, does that. But like he has a show. He lives in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. He has a show in Athens, Georgia. Uh-huh. It's like 70 miles away. He's like, I can't. I can't drive there i can't mm-hmm. ride my bike there mm-hmm. um so he takes out a black owned bus company there and then he's like well okay where am i going to stay tonight uh, there's no black owned hotels mm-hmm. so he sleeps Whoa. on a park bench Whoa. Um, he goes to a black owned restaurant and he's like okay great yeah and he orders him and his uh rap group partner sit down the lp yeah and he's like okay yeah and so he asks the owner he's like Oh, and you get all this food from Black Owned Farms, right? And the guy's like, uh, no. He's like, oh, shit. Okay, well, right. can't eat. So he goes to, like, a, in Athens, Georgia, there's, a like, a Black Owned Farm. It used to be a school. School shut down. And they turned it into, like, a, a community gardening project. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. So That's he, sweet. He goes there. Um, so, yeah, stuff like that. So that was the first episode. Uh, the second episode is about, it's called Fuck School. So mm-hmm. it's basically like saying school doesn't teach kids what they need to be taught. Yeah. It teaches them that to dream big and like <laughs> he sits down with a bunch of kindergartners and he's like, oh, what do you want to be to the one black kid? And he's like, oh, I want to be president. He's like, nope, never going to happen. <laughs> so th- then he talks to the white kid, what do you want to be? And the kid's like, oh, I want to be a scientist that cures cancer and goes to outer space. Like, nope, not going to happen. So he tries to tell them like to learn trades, like mm-hmm. learn something useful. Yeah. Um, so they create, and then he gets a bunch of unemployed adults to come in, and he's like, you know, wh- what do you guys want to do? And, like, three of the black guys said, like, oh, we want to be in the music industry. And he's like, okay, I just solve black people's problems. Everyone wants to be in the music industry. Not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, so like, he's like, you know, you guys need to learn uh, trades. Like, like <coughs> let me give you a test, see how much yeah. you know. Learn mm-hmm. something that makes the world go around. Yeah, so... They all fail the test. Whatever. He's like, now, like, why can't you guys go on YouTube and just look at videos and teach yourself? Because, like, he brought in a guy who basically got laid off from the industry he worked in mm-hmm. and decided to go on YouTube and just search, like, handyman videos, like mm-hmm. how to rewire an electrical How to fix outlet. this, how to fix that. And became a handyman and does a pretty good living at it now. Cool. So he talks to these group of adults and – um they're just like, well, you know, I'm just not that interested in it. Like, I don't want to watch those videos. They're boring. So he's like, well, 
what like so what would make you interested? He's like, they're like, well, I don't know. We go on YouTube and we want entertainment. So he's like, oh, okay, I know what entertainment on the internet is. He's like, and he gave out a stat like the number of people that visit porn sites hey, is greater than Netflix, YouTube, yeah. and like something else combined. Yeah. And so he starts making like educational porn, hmm. ba- wow. basically where like um, he has like a lesbian couple teaching them how to um, rewire an electrical socket. He has a heterosexual couple showing you how to plumb a, a sink. Hmm. And Just for research purposes, where do we find these videos? <laughs> uh, watch the show. Damn. Google two lesbians constructing a dike. Two lesbians in a box. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, so then he shows that and he shows it to like a, a college and the c- the guy at the college like president's like, well I think this will have our uh, uh, enrollment go up, <laughs> and, and uh, so anyways, that was the second episode. The third episode was uh, was about like gangs, so and he makes a good point that I never thought of. So you can go on Amazon and you can buy a Hell's Angels T-shirt. Yeah, that is made by Hell's Angels Incorporated. Yeah. And the money goes to Hell's Angels. Yeah. But do you think anyone would ever allow the Bloods or the Crips to go on and, like, incorporate and create a business? Are you trying to say that the Hell's Angels are evil guys? (laughs) No, I'm trying to say that the politicians who regulate the Hell's Angels. That's so fucked up. Yeah, the Hell, Hell's Angels it's are, white run. are yeah. a white-run gang, yeah. essentially. Yeah, yeah I, I, don't, I don't think they're cool with the whole race thing. No. I'm pretty sure they're They They call super themselves white. a motorcycle club, but they're organized crime. Yeah, like any... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. let's face facts. Yeah. They're a criminal enterprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he sits down with, a, with a, like four guys that are Crips. Affiliated? Oh, okay. Yeah. And he says, like, the Hell's Angels are allowed to, to merchandise and, and do this stuff. Like, oh. you guys should. I'd buy a Crips t-shirt. to Walmart, Target. So, so he's like, you guys need to come up with a pr- uh, product. So they're kind of spitballing ideas. And he's like, what about a cola? So they come up with the idea of Crip-A-Cola. And so they're like, well, we can't really, Damn. like, we don't have enough money for a factory. So they make a batch of cola in their kitchen, trap house style. That's so sad. And they, they bring it to a uh, uh, graphic designer. And they bring it to a, a marketer that works for Coke. Yeah. And, like, they create a label for it. They get the product. And then they do, like, a focus group. And so it's a blind taste test. Like, there's – they just bring out little cups, and the guys are drinking. They're like, yeah. oh, shit, this is, this is pretty good. Like, this – yeah, this is cola. Like, straight up, this is if, – if I had to imagine cola, this is what cola tastes like. Yeah. So then they're like, you know, would you would you drink this if if it was in stores? So they're like, yeah, absolutely. So then they pull the blanket off, like, yeah, it's this Crippa Cola, and it's like the focus group is all white guys and one Puerto Jesus. Rican guy. This is gang sponsored. Did you just like one of them, like shoot themselves in the head. No, <laughs> like, <laughs> there's like, oh no, no, you you couldn't buy this stuff. If you what? bought this stuff, you would you would get shot by the Bloods. Like, wow, like, yeah. So no, just make sure you buy a bag of blood crisps or something. They should have been like, so, so when you buy a House oh no, Angels T-shirt. Don't say it, Tyler. <laughs> so, no. so, yeah, so, like, th- they're just, like, t- completely dismissing, like, oh, the Bloods aren't allowed to make products. Um, so then this one uh, like Killer Mike comes in to talk to them, and uh, this, the one Puerto Rican guy is like, or Killer Mike says, like, we've always, like, America has always um, – celebrated the bad guy mm-hmm. it said yeah. look at wall street mm-hmm. it's, it's a movie about a guy who steals money from wall street mm-hmm. and this guy the puerto rican guy's like well that's an oliver stone movie like it's, a, it's celebrating that oliver stone's a great director and you know it's just a greatly great put together movie and killer mike's like okay fair enough and then one of the other guys says well like scarface and then this puerto rican guy's like well no that's celebrating that uh, Al Pacino's a great actor. Oh, he doesn't give fucking credit to De Palma? And, and, well, and he said, and Scarface mm. is a great great movie. And Well, he's wrong there. Kill, okay. Killer Mike looks at him and goes, dude, for being the only other brown guy in this room, you are the most racist. Ah! And, and the Puerto Rican guy just loses his mind. Yeah. And he's like, oh, don't put me in a box. Like, you can't put me in a box. I wrote a song about putting me in a box. It's called Don't Put Me in a Box. Wait, no, it's called Put Me in a Box, but it's about not putting me in a box. And he like, he's just losing his mind. What? So then they have all the Crips come in and talk to these guys and say, hey, look, like, 
what you think the Crips are isn't what the Crips are. Yeah. What movies and TV shows portray the Crips and Bloods as? Yeah. Like, they're basically, like, they started the same way the Hells Angels started. Yeah, man. They started as neighborhood protection. Yeah. Um, like, these guys are saying, like, we have bike raffles for kids. Yeah. Like, when yeah. you think of the Crips, you don't think of bike raffles for kids. No, man. Um, but they said, you know, like, none of us, like, you know, they might sell the odd, like, pot, stuff like that. Yeah. But they're not out there, like, shooting each other. No. It's like, you know, we have Crips that have PhDs. We have Crips that have bachelor's degrees. Yeah. Like, that's it's not what it is. It's not, like, the gang violence of the 80s that yeah. everyone thinks it is. Yeah. So the, these that's people crazy. in the group are like, oh, shit. So then he brings a bunch of bloods in, and they make blood pop. So Oh, this is going to sell. And they, they sell set them both up at a farmer's market beside each other to show people that, like, hey, they can be in the same vicinity as each other and not, like, completely kill each other. Yeah, getting a shootout. <laughs> yeah, so, like, and the logo for, for the Cola is blue, obviously, mm-hmm. and the Blood Pop is, is a red label. Mm-hmm. Cherry flavored, I assume. And they, they just, uh, like, like, go back and forth and, like, trying to get these guys to buy Oh, they're, like, rip, are, like, doing, like, marketing technique, like, hollering at people to be like, yo, come and get our stuff, it's better. Yeah, so they're... they're Oh, man, they probably rip on each other so good. They're at a farmer's market, and they're like, they're like, oh, come, come try this, and people are like, oh, yeah, this is great. Oh, man. Yeah. So... That sounds awesome. It sounds like a really cool show. Yeah, it's Yeah, it's it's super cool. So, uh, yeah. It's on Netflix? Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah, Trigger Warning with Killer Mike. Yeah. Definitely have to check that yeah. out. It's older, I think. Uh, yeah, I think there? it's a couple years old. New. Wow. But yeah, he's he's right. a smart dude, man. Yeah. His speech um, yeah. that he did recently about all the shit going on in the States, did you see that? No. Where he's like, I don't want to be here. Like, this is crazy that I don't yeah. want to. And then just drops crazy knowledge about, yeah. like, the history of um, Atlanta police officers. Yeah. And they're, like, the first eight, and they had to get ready for their shift at the local YMCA because other cops were like, you guys aren't coming in here. Yeah. So he's like, this is such a huge thing. And, and I think it's techni- a crazy speech. I think technically killer Mike is, is a crip. Like, uh, yeah. like Snoop Dogg is, is technically a, a crip. Oh like yeah. Crip. Yeah. Um, like yeah. it, it kind of shows like all like the, the prominent people that are crips. And mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. It's cool. So I'm yeah, excited is, to watch the rest. It of is series. weird. Yeah, that is a good point. Because, like, yeah, I think you could probably buy, like, KKK t-shirts. Oh, probably, yeah. It, the money probably doesn't go to the KKK, or maybe it does. Well, why wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, like, I don't know if the KKK is incorporated. Why wouldn't they be? I doubt it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess it's kind of for legal. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah like, I'm Hells Angels are, are They probably represent themselves as a sect of religion. Dude, that's so crazy that they're incorporated, so that means they have to pay fucking taxes. Yeah, federal... So the government's Federal like, hey, we taxes. got our, uh, <coughs> like, what can they write off? Are you guys well, just, they would just run as a normal business. Yeah. They would just make mugs and t-shirts and yeah. they're basically a fucking gift shop. I guess they're themselves. just like, yeah, making money on like uh, their image move. or like their perceived image. Yeah. yeah, that is pretty. From what they started and when they were hardcore, like, yeah. what if we get into merchandising, guys? And like, yeah. when they started, like, they weren't the criminal organization that they are no. Today, right? Like, man, one of the funniest Hell's Angels stories that I've ever heard was when th- I think it was like in the '60s, they would go to like a random ass bar in some like super conservative town. These giant ass bikers would go into the bar, and then just start making out with each other, just because they knew that the people in the town weren't gonna say anything to them. Because yeah. if they did, they were like, "Oh, we would just beat the shit out of all of them." Yeah. But they just did it just to mind fuck these people. Yeah. And, like, they would be super drunk and then just go do that and then, like, all right, peace. And, like, that just is... leave them stunned. Yeah. yeah. That is oddly yeah. hilarious that, like, hardcore bikers. And, right. like, how did that come up? Or, like, so what are we doing? The first guy's like, hey, we should do this. Yeah. The guy's like, like, no, why would we do that? You're not that? gay, right? Like, no, no, no. It'll just be hey, funny. Just, yeah, it's good. It'll, it'll, and laugh. Yeah. I swear, guys. A couple of beers later, they're like, nah. I'm like, oh, what that was so really funny. Greg? Yeah. Um, so, I'm like, what, yeah, what? So that's like, great. It's like, so funny. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have watched Sons of Anarchy. I've watched I some of it, but I got it. I watched it until it got really fucking ridiculous and stupid. And I'm like, well, all these guys would be dead. Yeah. So you've seen the first season. Yeah, <laughs> that's about it. But basically, like, that's kind of it. Like, essentially, it's kind of the story about Hell's Angels. Like, yeah. Well, but that this one character wants them to reform and like mm-hmm. go legit, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but like, so his dad that started it, like, started it. Mm-hmm. 
for a good reason, like you, like uh, a righteous cause. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then it kind of slowly shifted into like criminal. Yeah, like and anything. He yeah. wants it to, to go back. Same with, like, mob shit, too, right? Yeah. Like, the mafia was started as, like, man, the police aren't doing shit for us, so we yeah. got to do this ourselves. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's crazy how stuff evolves. But Yeah. yeah. So watch uh, watch uh, Trigger Warning with Killer Mike. It's good. Yeah, and for, for next week, we're watching... When the Levees Broke, A Requiem in Four Acts. I believe this is, like, Bike four episodes, I eh? believe so, yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. So oh, it's pretty four long. acts. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think you said four X earlier. No, four acts. Four X. Yeah, cool. I think there's, like, four, like, movies, like, but four yeah. short movies. Yeah, it's pretty long. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.